Hello, everyone. My name is Jin Xuan. I'm from Hebei, China. My core researcher is Dr. Lok An. I would like to thank the organizer of this conference to give me the opportunity to present my paper. The topic of my paper is Curriculum Standards, Content, and Practice of Chinese Dance Teachers' Higher Education. My presentation has six parts. Let's start with the background of my study. Beijing Dance Academy was established in 1978, which started the dance education in China and lead the way to the development of dance education. Now, there are a total of 132 institutions that provide higher education in dance covering all different types. With the rapid development of dance education and the more needs of exotic education and dance higher education in China, these institutions are supposed to prepare for the training of dance teachers with higher comprehensive quality. There are three issues related that have been identified based on my survey. Firstly, the four selected universities tend to homogenize the training of its dance teachers and its curriculum standards for different employment positions. And they do not have a precise curriculum standards for different student characteristics and different employment positions. Secondly, the tasks on different levels and course content of dance education telling Training are mainly focused on the training of the dance teacher's knowledge and skills, whereas the proportion of the curriculum content for teachers' training skills are small, and the knowledge of education skills are not rich enough. Thirdly, the understanding of most of the universities in the achievements and knowledge of dance education are carried out in the main name and form of stage performance and dance expression, whereas the proportion of practical teaching ability training is very low. Therefore, for graduate who have undergone professional dance learning, after becoming teachers, they are only good at dance performance, but not good at teaching dance. Based on the above three issues, the first objective of this study is to identify the training goals, the characteristics of the dance students, the basics of the dance teachers and the standard of the dance courses operated by the four selected universities for the researchers to conduct a comparative analysis. The second objective is to focus on their training goals and the visions of their future dance teachers. The third objective is to create a variety of teaching practice activities in the exciting training plan and applying them to practical teaching in the higher learning institutions. University lecturers who are teaching Chinese dances, they are attached to four different universities. They are Professor Wang Wei, Dr. Zheng Hui Hui, Assistant Professor Wu Yang and Head of Dance Department Yang Fei. I appreciate their support for this survey. Now, let's look at the first issues. Different types 
of institutions tend to homogenize the curriculum standards for different employment positions, lacking individuation difference for different students or different employment positions. From the perspective of talent training objectives, Beijing Dance Academy is mainly aimed at training teachers for institutions above the level of higher vocational education. Shanghai Normal University and Hebei University of Economic and Business are mainly for dance teachers who work in primary and secondary schools. Hebei Vocational Art College is more for teachers who teach beginners around 3 to 10 years old. The four institutions have the goal of training dance teachers for different learners. Then, the corresponding curriculum standards should also be different, but they appear to be the same. When formulating curriculum standards, we can use the method of review design training objectives can be set to meet the need of students' employment post. For example, children's dance teaching needs to follow the law of children's physical development. Well, adult dance teaching can carry out moderate professional training with the law of dance expression. How to set different standards for the same the type of courses? The first step is to determine the teaching position and the levels that learners will be engaged in. The second is to delimit the learning field. And the third is to refine and decompose them into matching knowledge, skills, and quality objectives. In this way, it will greatly improve the matching degree between curriculum standards and employment post ability and avoid the homogenization tendencies of curriculum standards. Too much emphasis was put on the cultivation of dance professional knowledge and skills. The proportion of teachers' ability and the knowledge of educational skills are too limited to meet the needs. For the training of a dance teacher, the various abilities of dance specialty are indeed very important. But it does not mean that if you master the ability of dance expression, you will have the ability to teach dance. The goal of education must be organized in a specific way so that it has the ability to produce profound and lasting effects that meet the requirement of the goal. Therefore, we should improve the proportion of teacher skills teacher thinking and educational knowledge in the curriculum content of training future dance teachers. We should immerse the students in the dual role of learners and teachers and achieve the purpose of teaching them to learn with teaching method and to offer more practical courses of activities for the future dance teachers. The result reveal that important achievements of dance education are put in the name and form of stage performance and stage expression. And teaching ability training is not taken seriously, which lead to the problem that graduates who have studied Professional dance 
are only good at dance performance and do not adapt to dance teaching after entering the teaching post. Especially, it is extremely difficult to develop the teaching zone and future research. Finally, when the teaching methods are mastered, they need to be applied in practice. Teaching practice ability is the objective requirement of teacher professionalization, and it is also an important career for the cultivation and the formation of future teachers' teaching ability. Therefore, for the training of an excellent dance teacher, dance professionalization and teacher professionalization are equally important. For the cultivation of teacher professionalization, it is more necessary to create practical activities to face real teaching objectives and solve various real teaching problems in real professional situations. I hope these findings of this research can benefit dance teachers and Chinese dance education through the promotion of great development in terms of quality of education and dance for the future of Chinese dance industry. Would like to know more about this topic? Feel free to contact me by WeChat or email. Thank you.